show, man. What's poppin', man? It's the 8BH on Facts. I'm here today, you know, to talk about the new music, man, these new videos, all the new, you know, everything that's on the way. Um, working on the project, Out of Space. Me and uh, my favorite producer, Space Matt Grady, we got a um, project on the way. We're gonna do like probably like 10 songs. Whole bunch of feel good music, man. Happy fun music, man. You know, some real lit club bangers. Oh, I grew up on the um, south side of Atlanta. in some um, apartments called John Burr South. Probably like five to ten minutes, you know, Cleveland Avenue, like right around the corner from Cleveland Ave. The reason I would say fun because growing up as a kid, you know, in the apartment, it was a lot of fun stuff, you know, happened. You know, it was a lot of, you know, it'd be, you know, bad stuff, but I remember more of the good stuff, you know, based off the bad stuff. Like, I, my own dude used to, you know, be a little lean and used to let her go out and enjoy herself out there. Hide and go see, you know, they had a little fun seeing other people used to take her to the movies, you know, my stepdad used to, you know, take me places and stuff. So I, I would say fun. Elementary, I went to FL Stan on the west side. High school, I went to Doug High because when they two Jumbo Road, the departments I said on farm, when they two them down, you know, the section eight moved that to the west side, mostly part area. So I went to the, uh, you know, schools on the west. When I started getting into music, about 16, about 16 years old. I, you know, was playing basketball, you know, rec ball and stuff, but I just was around the music scene a lot, and I just got inspired by it, so I had one to pick up a mic and just try it out. Just try it out and, you know, see, you know, how it would go, and, you know, I started getting booked and paid for it, so I really just turned it to a lifestyle. Um, Rich Kids, Young Thug, Young Ralph, Wow, him. You know, it was a lot of, it was a lot of folk that you know make some noise. So it really like the way the, the you know like the era I grew up around, like that way. The young wave, like the young and hot artists with the swag, you know. Um, I had described getting the buzz when I had started like um, really started going to like places. I had started performing, and then me and my brothers and all this, we had started going together. So when we performed together, like a lot of people knew us and stuff, and a lot of people had started really listening to the songs. It like the team parties we used to go to called the Dream Lab in the West End, and then when we used to go like do our performance sets, the crowd used to be singing the song word for word. So that's when we knew like, oh yeah, it started a buzz. It's like people were really listening and paying attention to it. Oh, it's good. It was it was a good feeling because uh, we used to be in the studio a lot. Like um, our homeboy Big Brother had the studio downstairs. Tommy had the studio downstairs at Mama Crib. And we used to like, we was in that motherfucker so much, we ended up slick moving in. Well, I ended up slick moving in. Like my, my, my friends, they used to come but I ended up moving in because of the simple fact that I was like kind of in love. I fell in love with the studio. So I never really wanted to go back to my mama's house. I used to walk probably like 20, 30 minutes from Harper Archer all the way back up the door. I used to walk all the way from that long ass street, walk up there and just stay, really. I had really just wanted to find something else to do because like school, you know, I was doing the sports and all that, but I really, to be honest, I really didn't really find no. I like to play basketball, but I really didn't have the passion I really did once I started doing music for it anymore. Like once I started doing the music, I kind of like lost the passion that I had for the basketball. To be honest, yeah, it more definitely um, it more definitely soothing for real though. Like every day I wake up, I got to start my day with music. Like when I'm going through stuff, I either write or I put on some music, you know, just to help me just keep myself sane or balanced. It more definitely like therapy, like to me, more definitely. You know, my mama got a lot of kids. We were a big family, but I lost my oldest brother. So a lot of times I'd be going into like dark areas and places and I had to come back, you know, to reality. I just put on some music and just realized that, you know, you got to keep going. You know, God, I guess, he, you know, well not I guess, but God make no mistakes, but it just helped me realize that we got to just, you know, we will live forever, you know what I mean? But when I put the music on, it just helped me realize that, like, it gonna get better. Um, I, 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 to be honest, the motivation behind it is, it like, I've been home, I, 
I've been home for a long time, and I've been really just, I've been really just venting, like, to be honest, like, with my music. I done had a couple little, like, up-tempo songs, but I ain't, to be all with 1,000, my pocket has been, like, in pain, because I've been, you know, I, that's where I come from. You know, that's, that's me. Like, that's how I, you know, made my whole everything. But I'm at a point where it's like, I really feel like it's time to go ahead and attack another area with the club songs, the up tempo. Like it really time to just go ahead and start doing a lot of more traveling, you know, and doing a lot of more turn shit. So it's just like the inspiration behind the world really just to be diverse, like to switch it up, like to try something new. Like a whole project, just great, lit, up tempo, club, banger, like just super fine music, feel good music to be honest. It's kind of like 50-50. I kind of like it, and I kind of don't, to be honest. Because I ain't going to sit. You know, my name Fats. I got to tell the truth. The reason I would say I like it because it's good for networking, you know. It's a place, you know, a lot of people from the out-of-towners want to be. You know, it's it, it good, you know, for if you're trying to get you some motion and make a name for yourself. But the, the dislike about it is, like, it's a lot of nut holding going on, like, <clears throat> niggas be working hard, niggas be seeing you, and not even niggas, just people, period, everybody, like, they'll see you putting in the work, but they'll rather go, like, go and grab somebody from far away or whatever and, and, and lift them up when you next door. They got to walk past you every day. They just keep overlooking you, but then they'll go grab somebody, you know, just with the music. Basically, I'm just saying that based on the music, though. Not just, like, just, I'm basically putting that out, like, the music labels and stuff. The people that's in the line of doing the music too. Oh, I'm most definitely gonna relocate. I, I just feel like since I'm from here, a lot of people, well, not even they, they, they're not gonna give you the respect that is due because of some fact they feel like they know you. And then it's just like in the line, everybody think they're celebrities. Like I'm just be honest. Like people who ain't even got shit going on for they tell they just go out and they just swear they like a person. But it's just like you ain't putting no work in to even you know feel like you that person to level that status. So I'm definitely we're gonna relocate more definitely. If I was the guest, I'd probably say like about five hundred and fifty something. If I would have just take a realistic guess, <laughs> yeah, like someone that's out, someone that's in my Gmail, lost files. Yeah, I'd say about five hundred fifty, eighty. I, I'm the reason I say eighty because doing the ones that that like I got like eighty songs that I said before the year where I want to put out. I was just trying to see how I'm gonna roll them out. You know, singles and projects and um, this this new record, um, this new record is unreleased, but somehow I done sent it to like over a hundred people before I put it out. And it called Son to Say. It's a record, you know, produced by Spaces. That's the one that everybody went on to come out. So, you know, I might go ahead and get ready to give it to them. <laughs> Appreciate that. Is, that. That is ready. Appreciate it. I was listening to that shit today. Appreciate that, that love. Yeah, that go all to like my name being BHM Facts. So it like I'm just letting people know that you know I got something to say. Like I really be having something. You know I be really be talking about something like on the music. I really be you know I really take my time. I don't just go in there just throwing any bullshit. Just put it out. I really get in the yo and I really take my time and I really like. Fall in love with the process to really put good music out. I'm not just rushing, trying to put music out to sound like them or keep up with the wave or stay in they boat because they're working for them. I really just get in there and try to make sure we put out some good quality music. So that's why I really call it, like, I'm something to say because I'm really having something to say for real. So, you know, I just went with that. BHM is like a group or like, you know, just we family, like we family, but we were doing so good with the music. We be doing so good with the music. We be budding and creating with each other. So we just really made it into like a label. We went down there and got an LLC. So it's a label, you know, just a month's family. But it like when it comes to like <clears throat> the numbers and all that, like who all in it, it really not like, I can't say like all my nine people because it's like, you got like people who doing the music that you got folk that we gonna bring out, you know, probably like later on down the line. But you know, like right now you got like me, BHM Peasy, BHM 8 Tay, you know, like Huncho Moon, Dick Girl Nini. We got a lot of artists on the label 
It's just in a matter of time how we just bring everybody out. Cause we really deep in here, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie, we deep as we gonna we deep in here. We deep, I ain't gonna cap. Some people don't even rap and they be at you. That's how you know it's just like it's a family vibe. But it stands for born hit makers. Been having motion. I came up with the name cause I when I first started making music, I knew that you had to have a name that stick. But I got approval. Like I got approval from other people that want, you know, that's, you know, um in the group. Like I told them, like, hey y'all, I got a piece of paper, we got a lot of names on let corner get and pick a name. And everybody was like, yeah, that boy him makers, that that that's that's the one. And then so we all just like, yeah, let's go. We went down now to off of MLK to H and R block and we had got it taxed right off and um copyrighted. We paid for like little fees and stuff to make sure we could pay the taxes on them, like make money off it and stuff. I try to I try to like make sure I'm performing at least like two or three times a month. Just stay, you know, like stay ready and stay like working. So I rather say like, cause it used to be like I used to perform seven days out of the week, but I, you know, I learned that you can't burn yourself out. You can't really just, you know, I know it's, it's all about networking, but sometimes you gotta just make sure you keep yourself like legit. Keep yourself exclusive. Just don't be out just all over the place, being too reachable. So you know, probably like two, three times a month, I try to keep it at that, you know, minimum. If they not paying, but if they paying, like, you know, try to do way more. 3 a.m. in Atlanta, featuring BHMP. Cause it like it survived, and it like the way I just flow it and the way I just delivered it on the song, it like get the people into it. Like I be watching the crowd reaction, and I be seeing like some people, a couple people be knowing the song because I been promoting it for a little minute. They tuned in, but that's the one. I'm gonna definitely say I'll get the crowd going. Get some good reaction from it. I did like 10 on. Uh, you know, I had to like put some, some, you know, like some legs up under the record. I said I did about 10 on, uh, just going here, performing, getting it played. Yeah, about 10 times. Now when I play it, like people know the song, you know, everybody rocking out, you know, people whipping the phone out, making sure they throw it up on Instagram. Yeah, about 10 of them. We, like, we was in Austin, Texas. We had people, you know, Putting up on us, um, we went out there for the South by Southwest. We had people asking for pictures, people asking, you know, the you know, sign stuff when they come to, you know, like the T-shirts and the merch that we probably were giving them and stuff, like the posters and stuff. And I, it, it like, it, even in Walmart, I don't sign autograph in Walmart. I don't, you know, I went to a couple other podcasts and you know, like they tell me to autograph their wall or autograph something that could stick, you know, to let people know that I came through and I, you know, bless the mic or whatever. But that's a good feeling though. That's a great feeling, by the way. To be honest, we're gonna go ahead and um so what we did, we did was well, we're gonna go ahead and put out a single next month. Next month, uh July 26th. We're gonna go ahead and put out uh one of the singles off the project called My Year. Cause this my year. So we're gonna go ahead and put out my year next month. And after that, it's gonna be it's gonna be coming right, you know, soon behind that. Matter of fact. My cover man just text me and store Art by Trill just text me, it's done. So I had a cover for the project, you know, before the day over with. But it'll be out probably like, I wouldn't even say that long after we dropped the first single out there. It's going to follow up with it. And we coming, we coming hard too. Y'all go follow me and add me on all platforms at BHM Facts. B-H-M-F-A-C-T-S. On all platforms. Shout out to Music Head. Y'all tap in, we coming.